As we saw with the RTX 2080 and 2080 Ti last generation and the GTX 1080 and 1080 Ti before it, Nvidia's Ti models have traditionally provided significantly higher performance than their non-Ti siblings. Is the same true for Nvidia's RTX 30 series? And is the RTX 3080 truly the finest graphics cards for 4K gaming, or can the RTX 30 still compete with its more expensive Ti sibling? Let's have a look. The RTX 3080 Ti. The Nvidia GeForce RTX 3080 Ti was originally released about a year ago, and while it has had plenty of time to mature ever since, the graphics card market has been at an odd spot, to say the least. If you've been paying attention, you're probably noticing that getting a graphics card since the Nvidia GeForce RTX 3080 was released in 2020 has been nearly impossible. However, now that the GPU costs are starting to decline, we thought it was time to revisit the topic of which GPU is the best one for gamers. After all, if things are going like they are, the ordinary gamer may soon be able to purchase a graphics card, so you might as well know which one is right for you. On paper, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 Ti is, of course, a much more powerful variant of the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080. It comes with 17% more CUDA cores and the number of RT cores increased as well. The 3080 Ti even comes with 12 gigabytes of memory, which results in even more performance gains. The specifications and pricing range of the 3080 Ti are also very similar to those of the 3090. Memory is the only important difference here, as the 3080 Ti can run any of the current games in 4K resolution at a reasonable frame rate of 60 frames per second. The 3080 Ti is also substantially larger than the 3080, and is based on NVIDIA's Amphir architecture. The larger number of cores and additional VRAM are responsible for the six-fold boost. The RTX 3080. NVIDIA's 3080 has the potential to outperform any other graphics card in the market at the time of its debut. NVIDIA released its graphic card at a low-cost alternative to many 4K gaming options. In terms of its effectiveness, it does outperform the 2080 Ti by a wide margin, and compared to the 2080 Ti, it easily outperforms it by 20 to 30 percent and outperforms the normal 2080 by 50 to 60 percent. This is one of the most cost-effective graphics cards that are available when it comes to high-end resolutions such as 4K and faster refresh rates. Nvidia's Ampere technology also uses the RTX 3080, and the performance as well as power consumption of this architecture are prioritized. All of the Tensor and RT cores are second generation, but the NVIDIA RTX 3080 is still first when it comes to graphics from the company to be featuring both data streams capable of floating point computations. This is how the CUDA core count has doubled in comparison to previous generations. So let the comparison begin. Which one will come out on top? Pricing and availability. The Founders Edition of the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 Ti had originally went on sale for $1,200. But as expected, prices did begin to rise, and an RTX 3080 Ti eventually ended up costing between $1,200 and $1,400 after prices stabilized. The RTX 3080, on the other hand, is far cheaper, at least, that's how it's advertised. The Founders Edition of NVIDIA's flagship GPU costs a little over $700 at launch. However, this is the graphics card that recent price increases have struck the worst, and it continues to command exorbitant rates. In the United States, for example, its current price is anywhere between $1,200 and $1,600 on Amazon, which puts it in the same pricing range as its older sister. As of now, the Gigabyte RTX 3080 Ti Gaming OC is available on Amazon for $1,500, which is around the same price as an RTX 3080. Specifications. You'll be excused for assuming that the RTX 3080 Ti was just a really tiny mid-generation spec bump over the original RTX 3080 whenever it had first reared its head. Nvidia, on the other hand, had turned the volume up on it. The original Nvidia GeForce RTX 3080 had 10 gigabytes of GDDR6X memory on a 320 bus whenever it was first released. This RAM was then combined with 8,704 CUDA cores and a boost clock speed of 1.71 GHz. It was recently updated to provide a 12 GB option, and that model also has a 384-bit memory bus along with 8,960 CUDA cores, which is significantly more than the previous model. On the contrary, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 Ti has much more CUDA cores, with a boost frequency of 1.67 GHz with a total of 10,240 cores. 
That means it's got a more powerful bandwidth than the RTX 3080 from any other version. And with its 10,496 CUDA cores, it's more closely related to the RTX 3090. With 12 gigabytes of GDDR6X memory on a 384-bit bus, it features the same amount of RAM and updates the RTX 3080. That helps to emphasize the fact that the two cards are very distinct from one another. If you're seeking to play 4K games, the RTX 3080 Ti is easily going to outperform the basic 3080, and as a result, there is going to be fewer compromises on complex graphical techniques such as ray tracing. Performance. Anyways, enough with all the specifications talk. In the NVIDIA RTX 3080 Ti versus the NVIDIA RTX 3080 Showdown, which graphics card really has the best real-time performance? Specs, on the other hand, only go so far. What really counts is how well that these graphics cards perform in the real world, and not just a bunch of numbers on a sheet. The RTX 30 Ti outperforms the RTX 30 in 4K gaming with a performance differential of about 10%. For example, it can get 95 frames per second in Dirt 5 at 4K with all settings maxed out, compared to 86 frames per second with the original RTX 3080. Obviously, both cards can perform admirably at this resolution, and 86 frames per second is nothing to sneeze at, but you really can't deny that extra 10 frames per second help. However, if you might be playing on a much lower resolution, you'll definitely see declining returns, particularly below 1080p, as at that resolution, either of those graphics cards will blow any current game away, so paying extra for an RTX 3080 Ti really isn't worth it. On the other hand, Future games could very well put the more capable features to the test at much lower resolutions. And if you're spending this much money on a graphics card for 1080p gaming, you're probably the type that prefers to invest in something that will last a long time. Pro esports gamers will certainly find a lot to like in either of these cards for their 1080p gaming at high frame rates. The RTX 3080 Ti, for example, can comfortably handle Overwatch at over 244 frames per second which is great news to anyone that relies on speed so as to improve their response time. Which one should you buy? If you're searching for a GPU that can execute video editing and 3D imaging, the performance boost isn't going to be much of a difference, and you'd really just be better off looking at the RTX 3090 or something along those lines. If you only compare the RTX 3080 and 3080 Ti, excluding all of the versions and high-end RTX 3090s, the RTX 3080 Ti is definitely worth the money if you want that extra boost in gaming performance, and already have a really nice display that can represent the 3080 Ti's performance and power. The difference between the RTX 3070 Ti and 3080 Ti is quite significant. So, if you're looking for an upgrade, the RTX 3080 Ti is definitely the way to go. If you want to go from an RTX 3080 to an RTX 3080 Ti, the performance improvement may not justify enough to shell out the extra cash as you're looking at a completely new graphics card with a considerably higher price tag, which may or may not perform significantly better than what you got on the 3080. The Verdict So, if we have to choose a winner, the NVIDIA RTX 3080 is undoubtedly the best bang for your buck, as even in 4K, with super high settings, it can compete with the RTX 3080 Ti. When it comes to price, though, they're practically identical at this point. The NVIDIA RTX 3080 should be your go-to GPU for high-performance gaming if you're looking for the best bang for your buck. The RTX 3080's decreased power consumption is another significant benefit, and as a result, whenever overclocking the 3080, there's going to be fewer cooling concerns. It's vital to remember that both GPUs will run hot, necessitating sufficient cooling in both circumstances. So there you have it guys, that's our comparison match of the 3080 versus the 3080 Ti. Which one of them do you want to go for, the 3080 Ti or the normal 3080? Let us know what you think in the comment section below, and if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a big thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel for more content just like this, and don't forget to ding that notification bell so that way you don't miss out on any more content updates from us. Until next time folks, stay safe and stay informed.